Okay, this is a very quick tutorial on how to morph two objects in Sony Vegas. I've already imported the two PNG files with the alpha channel, the PNG 1 and 3. I made two markers, 1 and 2. So I'm going to take my first pick and it's not my PC so bear with me if it and it's on my mouse. Right, so now I'm going to line them up. So you're going to line the top one up with marker 2 and the bottom up with marker 1. Like that. Now we're going to stitch this a little bit so we can get a better view. Cool. Now we're going to go into the top one and we're going to make a mask. Now we don't have to be exact because it is an alpha channel. So we're going to start here. You can go and bend these and get off fence if you want to. Or you can just bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Shot. Minimize that. We're going to do the same on the bottom guy. Okay. Got the mask. He's set. We're going to start in the same place. Because that will help with the morph. Bang, bang, bang. If you want to just round these off, that's cool. Put more detail. It doesn't really matter. Shot. Now we're going to copy this guy. And go to the top one. Now, on our, exactly on our mark there, we're going to paste this chip. Now you'll see there the, the mask morphs between there and there. So we're going to line it up on our marker one to slide this over. So that's exactly on there. And there we go. Boing. Right, cool. Now we're going to copy this guy and we're going to bang it in. On this chip. Yeah. We just got to line this up with that. There we go, exactly there. Place that in there. Now the mask should be exactly the same. This guy's got to end there. Okay, does that make sense? Alright, cool. So, we need to look at our preview. Where the hell is your preview window? Where's your stuff? There we go. Alright. And now they're morphed. Right, so if we just put a fade on here. We'll see what happens is it's it's fading. So obviously what I've done is when I did my PNGs, I just lined the faces up, lined it and placed them in the PNG in position. Okay. Now we're just gonna we're gonna take the face now, the top one. We're gonna bang it in the bottom. We're gonna make that a child of that. We're gonna customize that. We're gonna put a displacement map on that. Okay, we're gonna flip our channels, your your surface there, transparent back down school. What we we only need this to be on about 18. You can see it there, it's doing its thing there. Setting at about nine, maybe this can go down to nine as well. It's a bit hectic. That's cool. Now, I've got two screens, so I'm not used to working on one screen, so bear with me. We're going to put this in the middle of the of the morph. So here, yeah, we're going to add another key and make it zero, zero, and on the end of the morph there, there, we're going to make it zero and zero. Right, so there we go. So if we start here, there the mark starts taking place there. Okay, so I've added the background in, I've added my shadow, there we go. Pop your shadow in, so the mouse is bouncing around like a mouse. Right, there's a cat after this freaking mouse. 
Yeah, there you go. There's your... So you can move these keys here and line them up exactly on your marker there. And that is it. So hopefully you find it useful somewhere.